afternoon. Um, I'm actually a little nervous standing here because uh, I'm so honored to be invited here to speak along with uh, an August personality like Sri Agarwalaji. So I'm so honored and happy that, sir, I'm sharing the platform with you. Thank you. Having said that, uh, I must uh, thank you, Dr. Kim and Mr. Chang for giving me this opportunity through ICCK to present about the CSR opportunities in India. And also, I started my life with the Birla Group. I was a sales and marketing person with the Birla Group. So it also helped me to, the Birla Group taught me how to sell. <laughs> and now I'm selling. At that time, I was selling a product. And today, I'm selling a course. So the, the function is the same. But the product is two different things. So thank you for that. Sir. Mr. Agarwalaji talked to you about making money, investment, profit, and the business of business is business, making profit. I'm going to tell you a little bit about how to invest a little bit of that in social capital building investing in communities. Uh, it's not there. Thank you. Uh, which one is this? Ah, thank you. Yeah, this is a slide about 25% of consumers would switch brands if given a mere ethical alternative. That talks about corporate social responsibility. The image of a caring company adds more value to you in the CSR business. So today, having said that, CSR has become a modern competitive advantage, taking words from Michael Potter, so there is intrinsic value added if you put CSR as one of the business strategies. When we talk about CSR, it definitely starts with your own employees. Then it moves to the neighboring community and it has to move to the general public to add both more value. 우리가 처음 CSR을 생각했을 때는 아마 그 여러분이 그 근무하고 계신 여러분이 운영하고 계시는 그 회사의 임직원부터 시작해서 그 회사가 지금 현재 저 여러분 회사가 있, 있는 그 지역 사회 그리고 더 크게 전체적인 대중을 통해 대중을 향해서 할수 있다고 생각할 수 있습니다. Today in India in the CSR management today we do have most of the companies prominent companies have two ways of managing CSR. One is by a foundation. It could be just like the Tata Foundation or a Birla Foundation, or it's also through a CSR department. Uh, 
여러 그러니까 타타 뭐 차, 타타 자선 기업 같은 여러 가지 자선 기관을 통해서 이루어지는 것도 있고 그리고 자선 기업의 사회적 지금 CSR 부서를 통해서 이루어지는 경우도 있습니다. And also in terms of partnership, a company normally partner with government operations or with NGOs or with a multilateral organization. Just adding that value. 그리고 파트너십을 하는 형태는 어떤 식으로 보여지고 있냐면 대, 어, 지금 대부분은 인, NGO 단체와 비정부, 비정부 단체와 함께하고 있고 그리고 정부 그리고 여러 가지 다양한 다목적 그리고 쌍, 쌍문 간의 여러 가지 기관과 함께 파트너십을 이루고 있습니다. Out of that, the NGOs really, I mean that's what the most of the partnerships now in India which is coming forward. 아, 제가 말씀드렸던 것처럼 그 NGO와의 파트너십이 가장 지금 크게 인도에서 많이 이루어지고 있는 상태입니다. When we talk about business, I don't have to tell you about that. You talk about price, product, place, promotion. But in the modern world, we have to add the profits, planet and people. This is the new trend which we talk about the triple bottom line. And this also add up to investing in human financial ecosystems that just reaching out to the community. You can see that this is the class of 2040. Now you have been asking about what is a class of 2040? Well, this is a new dimension which the World Business Council for Sustainable Development is promoting. Now what are they talking? They are creating tomorrow's leadership group. 아, 보시면 그 처음에 보셨던 것처럼 현수막이 있는데 2014년 클래스라고 되어 있는데 이것은 무엇이냐면 세계 지속 가능 발전 기업 위원회에서 지금 꾸리고 있는 클래스입니다. 이들의 그 클래스의 목적은 그 미래의 리더 리더십 그룹을 키우는 그런 목적으로 지금 클래스를 진행하고 있습니다. But they're talking about business with a purpose. 아, 지금 what they're talking about is take the toughest problems and turn them into business opportunities. And that comes from this famous management guru known as C.K. Prahlad. He is the one who is talking about the fortune at the bottom of the pyramid. And that's what now they think about. The business out there is the business with four billion. That's the fortune at the bottom of the pyramid. So businesses has to look into that. That brings you the question of can companies make a difference while still making healthy profits? Well, uh, just only one example. A lot of companies are doing that. This is an example from the Tata Group. The Tata BP Solar has proved that way back. Why, how they can make solar power into a business proposition. That is the kind of a business, you know, with social responsibility, which the World Business and Development Award they are promoting. And these are the kind of companies which has recently got global awards. I'm not going to talk about more about that, but they got how about they got it. And we do have an Indian company who has got that award, which is an idea group that is also a Birla company. Uh, 
or maybe the famous Grameen model in Bangladesh. We're talking about building that CSR business for the poor from the bottom of the pyramid example. And this is the man who created that, who is talking about building social business up there. This is the imaging transition from social business models. From the 20th century, we are talking about non-social interaction to all these kind of things, and the pendulum is shifting towards that of investing for building social capital along with profit. That's when, when Tata Steel famously run this campaign in India saying that they focus their campaign more on community development initiatives and they said we also make steel. That was one of the most important and most uh, successful campaign by a company in India. What a profound statement. That's another example from the country is about Amul, the taste of India, and some other examples. You can Google and find out Ben and Jerry, Paul Manswan. These are all very good examples of how businesses and social purposes can go and work together like social responsibility. The report was based and it says that 68% of those survived, surveyed utilize CSR as an opportunity and a platform for growth. There's a history behind the social responsibility growth and the history goes like this. It was from the legal and compliance level to strategic philanthropy to values-based self-regulation to efficiency and growth platform. So today it is created as a growth platform. So this is the kind of the curve of growth of social responsibility. Just giving little statistics about that. You don't have to spend time on that. This is how the growth again in the neon in the in the different format. We are not going to spend time on about that. What is today is the connectivity is in action. CSR, when I say connectivity, we talk about the ICT, the Information Communication Technology Age. Today, the technology, because of the technology and the Facebook and the Twitter, which we call as a social media, can really be used for advancement or connecting with the community. 실제 여기 커넥티비티가 이제 액션이라고 했습니다. 여러 가지 지금 ICT 같은 ICT에 기반을 둔 여러 가지 트위터 및 페이스북 및 여러 가지 지금 그런 소셜 액티비티 같은 것들이 실제적으로 소셜 미디어가 이루어지고 있는데 이에 가장 중요한 목적은 어떻게 하면 서로 상호 연결을 하고 상호 의사소통을 하느냐에 따른 것입니다. So it has the opportunity to build up or damage a brand almost instantly. It has been evident in Egypt when the political crisis happened. It is Facebook and the Twitter which has created the political debacle in Egypt, which can also happen in the business circle also, which can be used for building up an image and also marring your image like that. Uh, Brand 
큰 피해를 줄 수도 있습니다. 큰 영향을 줄 수도 있습니다. 그러니까 이집트의 그 민주화 항쟁의 건에 대해서도 그한 명의 시민이 그러니까 트위터나 트, 트위터나 페이스북에 올림으로 인해서 전 세계로 퍼져나가는 이런 큰 영향력을 큰 파급 효과를 여러분들 보셨을 것입니다. Okay, that's that's the kind of a little bit of the statistics of the impact the information technology can add to you. It's just talking about this. How again? This is something about the forest. This was a green forest. This is how the degradation is happening, and this is how more and more degradation is happening, and how it can be captured by Google Earth and show that how fast it is like that. So that is the power of technology today. Ah, uh, 이거는 지금 위성 사진을 보여주고 있는데 첫 번째 사진은 그냥 일반적인 그냥 맨 처음에는 아무것도 없어도 황무지 그냥 숲이었는데 여러 가지 인구가 늘어나면서 실제적인 테크놀로지 기, 기술이 발전하는 것을 정확히 보여줄 수 있는 사진이라고 할수 있습니다. Today the employees seek more than a paycheck, they seek significance. 지금 오늘날 직원들은 더 많은 공, 돈, 봉급을 원하는 게 아니고 the consumers care a caring company. A corporate social impact is the new word. This can be added to your vertical of the business vertical of building the brand. You have to focus on your suppliers, you focus on your employees, you focus on your environment. That adds more value to you. This is a profound statement by Mrs. Birla, whom we are partnering out with. It is a kind of the CSR vision of that company. It reads out this way. In fact, we have articulated a vision. You can read it out. And I just wanted to say that the last word out there, it's like we turn into a lever, the social responsibility, where the ROI or return on investment lies in the transformation of a people's lives as they are no longer mired in poverty. I really love that. It's a transformation of people's lives as they are no longer mired in poverty. 여기 중에서 가장 마, 마지막 CSR 비전 중에서 우리의 CSR 비전 중에서 마지막 문장을 굉장히 보는 좋아하는 문장입니다. 우리는 레버를 돌려서, 그러니까 레버 레바, 레버를 이용해서 그 투자 투자를 수익 투자를 환원하는 일을 하고 있는데 이는 사람들의 삶을 바꿀 수 있고 그리고 이제 더 이상 그들은 더 이상 빈곤에 허덕이지 않아도 됩니다. Thank you. I call it the Congo. When I say Congo, it means companies or the corporations are a value in the business of value adding. And when you join hands with the NGOs, you are in the business of values added. So if it is a corporations and NGOs or doing anything good out there in that, it is value add and values add. <laughs> 그 일반 기업은 밸류를 부가가치를 창출하고 그리고 부가가치 그 비정부부 단체를 통해 플러스하면 똑같이 더 많은 그 가치들이 부과될 수 있다고 생각합니다. This is another model which this is my own project. I'm running this project with Jet Airways. I designed it. It is though I was earlier working in my life with UNICEF. So there is a project which runs in British Airways. So I just copycatted into Jet Airways in Bombay. This is not a magic box program. So whenever you fly in next in India and in Jet Airways, please do put in some money there. Like so. That adds a lot of value to the Jet Airways Corporation as a CSR. This is another next time when you're tired of rafting retreats for any HR person out here, you can go and build a house for Habitat for Humanity. Uh, 
HR 인사 관련된 부서에서 뭔가 그 여러 가지 역할이 필요할 때 실제 헤비타트의 저희 쪽의 자동봉사 활동을 통해서 그 가난한 지역사회 및그 시민들을 위해서 집을 짓는 봉사 활동을 해주는 게 어떻겠습니까? I'm very happy that the Novelis uh, team is here. They have already donated $75,000 yesterday. That's from the Birla Group to Habitat for Humanity Korea, and thanks a lot for that. And they're sending three teams of their employees to go and build houses. Thank you for that, Mr. Sadpudi. This is how we build house because we need you. That's what in Habitat we call it corporate partnership. So anyone can come and join us. Buy a brick, that's all. One brick can be one million dollars, no problem. <laughs> 커플의 파트너라고 볼수 있습니다. 우리는 이러한 집을 이러한 모든 여러 가지 기업들의 후원을 통해서 우리의 집을 짓고 있습니다. 뭐 하루 정도 빠지는 거면 크게 돈이 들지 않을 거기 때문에 도와주십시오. Our relationship with the Birla Group is now one decade old. Birla Group is out here because of that relationship. Now we got all these corporations in India. This is an Indian, our Indian house habitat for humanity's house out there. Okay, now. This too happens through project partnerships that would be building partnerships together, or it could be gifts in kind. It could be cement or uh, uh, steel or things like that, or it could be corporate hospitality or sponsorship, like this event. Even ICCK is an NGO. I mean, if this event would have been sponsored by someone, so that is what I meant by it. It could be employee fundraising. Employees could be interested to make fundraising. Or it could be payroll giving, payroll giving by deduction of money. Or it could be cost-related marketing, which adds more value to you. Uh, 여러분들의 그 봉, 임금 봉급을 월급을 그, 기, 그 모금해 주시거나 하는 여러 가지 역, 여러 가지 활동을 하실 수 있습니다. Yeah, Habitat for Humanity is there. When you drink a coffee, think about Habitat for Humanity. It's okay. What enlightened businesses want in CSR? What has been learned out there? This is a study by Deloitte Tosh, done in India, and it's applicable for all over the world also. It's like synergistic, strategic, and professional relationships. Meaningful employee engagement, real and measurable impacts and differences around social goals, long-term mutuality, shared expectations, commitment from both partners to work at the relationship. This is exactly a, a beautiful way of putting how CSR or a corporation or an NGO can come together. Uh, 이런 CSR의 사업과 맞물릴 수 있는지를 보여줄 수 있는 우리가 진짜 비즈니스가 원하는 것은 이런 것입니다를 보여주고 있습니다. 서로 그 NGO 단체와 이런 기업은 상호 그 공조를 통해서 시너지를 낼수 있고 전략적이고 더욱더 전문적인 관계를 형성할 수도 있으며 그리고 그, 고, 그 회사의 임직원들은 직원들은 이러한 의미 있는 활동을 통해서 자부심을 느낄 수 있고 진정한 그리고 가치가 있는 그리고 식별 가능한 영향 및 효과로 인해서 다른 그 사회적 목표를 목표에 대한 여러 가지를 우리가 추구할 수가 있습니다. 이는 장기 장 롱텀 그리고 서로의 그런 완숙 성숙한 것과 서로의 기대치를 쉐어할 수 있으며 양 파트너 간의 약속을 통하여 이러한 관계를 형성하고 함께 공조할 수 있습니다. This I call it the relationship of voice and a noise. Why voice and noise? Because we as NGOs make a lot of voice about a cause. And corporations know how to make enough noise. And if this voice and noise come together, we really can make an impact. Because the corporations have got the capacity to make it through marketing, PR, and things like that. That's what I said by the voice. So, I mean, well, there's a meaning for the voice and noise out there. I'll, I'll skip this. The voice and the noise is just like having a vision, an opportunity, innovation, challenges, engagement. And in the noise, it has to be newsworthy. 
has to, that ownership within the company has to be there. It has to be an institutionalized or it's a shared value or it has to be enriching to the community. Uh, so, the This, this is how you can do an event. I'm not going to talk about that. This is some of the corporate executives doing an event for an organization. Talking about CSR, I've talked about from Milton to Michael. You know who is Milton, you know who is Michael. They've been talking about that has emerged from that lane. If you do not know, here they are. Milton said about, this is Milton Friedman, who said about social response of the business is to increase its profits. Well, that was way back in 1972. Michael said, Michael Potter said, CSR is shared value, meaningful benefit for society that's also valuable to the business. That was in the 90s. Uh, the, 여러분, 그 밀턴에서, 마이크에서, 마이, 밀턴부터 마이크까지. CSR은 어떤 식으로 우리 비즈니스에서 영향을 차지하고 있을까요? 여러분, 밀턴, 밀턴은 어떻게 말했냐면, 사업이라는 것은, 비즈니스라는 것은, 수익을 내는 책임이 있고, 수입의 사회적, 아, 기업의 사회적 책임은 수익을 내는 것이다. 라고 했고, 마이클 포터는, 아, 이 말, 밀턴의 말을 한 것이 1972년. 도이고 마이클 포터가 한 말은 CSR은 가치를 공유하는 것이며 이러한 의미 있는 그 사회에 공헌하는 가치가 또한 비즈니스 사업에 큰 가치가 있다라고 하였습니다. Or today, Bill Gates talks about creative capitalism. Or the strategic CSR is can benefit organizations through growth in market share and organization learning, as well as more committed and engaged employees. Supportive external stakeholders and positive investor relations. Thank you. It's about building, you know, I'm just talking about various examples of what Habitat engages people out there in for building houses out there. It could be that, or it could be just running a campaign like India Bill's campaign, so again run by Mrs. Raj Sriji Birla, who is heading that, or an idea like the Ivy League are built involving business schools, or you get a headline like this, Rajasri Birla bats for the homeless across the country. Or move over CSR, it's a time now for individual philanthropy to bloom. Or just announcing like this, which I call it ISR. ISR means nothing but individual social responsibility. Thank you. So that's again the art of corporate social responsibility. You got to be trying to find the fit between how well we can create that kind of a win-win situation. So. 그 CSR, 기업의 사회적 책임의 하나의 방법으로 볼수 있는데요. 어떻게 하면 그 서로가의 그 협조를 통해서 서로가 어떻게 위민 시츄에이션을 만들 수 있는지를 그 보여주는 것입니다. It helps the NGOs to look partnership with corporations beyond mere fundraising. It teaches the NGOs also that you come and ask money, that's fine, but also it has to be a partnership which is built, which teaches beyond fundraising. It should not be the attitude always give me money, but let us how work together. Uh, 이는, 어, 그러니까 기금이나 
대한 모금 활동을 하는 것만 뿐만 아니라 그것을 넘어서서 실제 NGO하고 NGO와 파트너십을 이루어서 함께 일하고 함께 협력하는 것을 의미합니다. So doing well by doing good is not just fashionable; it is becoming part of the corporate DNA today. 좋은 일을 하는 좋은 일을 함으로써 좋은 일 좋은 일을 선행을 함으로써 잘하는 것은 항상 그러니까 유행이라고만 더, 더 이상 이제 유행 유행은 아닙니다. 이는 기업의 DNA의 한 부분이 되었습니다. CSR is not new to India. When I grew up, there was only two companies which comes to my mind: that is Tata and Birla. And also Bata. <laughs> okay. I mean, that's what I grew up. Only today we've got lots of other companies, but in India it is just like Tata Birla. There's only two names when we were as children, and they did have a CSR right from that time. Ah, yeah. I was young. 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 I was Just a little bit statistics about what the corporations are now investing in India. They do give in health, environment, microfinance, education, livelihood, women's empowerment, and that's what just it is available in that uh, booklet already out there. So this is just a study which has been done by AmCham, the I mean, uh, AmCham, the Chambers of Commerce, uh, not AmCham. I'm sorry, AsoCham, Association of Chambers of Commerce. They've done this study with KPMG. So I just took it from there. Look at that! What's happening out there? You know, this is Mr. Sanjay Nair, who was the CEO of the City Group. He must have never gone and built a house, but then he did it with Habitat, along with Mrs. Birla. So this is the you know, I mean, the Birla Group are already there in the CSR. Tata's are already there. These are certain companies. L&T. There's the first company who has started a project for HIV and AIDS in India. Like, these are certain other companies who are investing. Reliance Industries, Hindware. BHL, Indian Oil, Infosys. These are the leading kind of companies in uh, India. So I just thought, you know, I mean, you can go to the website and find more about their opportunities out there. Ah, 지금 여러 가지 그 CSR 활동하고 있는 인도의 기업을 많이 제가 여기 보여드렸는데 자세한 정보는 인터넷을 통해서 알아보시면 될것 같습니다. The Indian corporates today spend almost 6.31 billion on social expenditure. 지난 2007, 2008년 동안 그 사회적 지출에 인도의 많은 기, 인도의 기업 부분은 63억 1천 달러를 사용하였습니다. Thank you. The other, other development that I anticipate is that CSR strategies will be seen as a source of innovation and growth and will not be limited to a tool for reputation and risk management or increasing efficiency in future while going forward. CSR 전략은 그 혁신 및 성장의 하나의 원인, 원천, 근본, 원인, 근본으로 볼수 있을 것입니다. 이는 그 여러 그 레퓨테이션 및그 이미지 및 명성 및 그리고 리스크 관리, 그리고 또한 그리고 효율성을 증가시킬 수 증, 증진시킬 수 있는 도구를 제안하는 것이 아닐 것입니다. CSR in India has become mandatory. The government has announced 2% of the net profit after tax has to be invested in CSR. But that's again becoming a debate between the government and the business. This is my last slide. CSR does lead from the government or from the corporations. There's a lot of leadership is required. There's a lot of connection opportunities are there. Make use of the, the better connectivity with the community. You talk about CTC, which is cost to company. I call it connecting to the community also. So cost to company and connecting to the community is also important. Engagement of employees with the community. Better communicate. When you're doing something, let it be known to the world. It's important. Not be shy about that. When you are investing, it will be known to the world. Then only we can invite or interest other people. 
and you got to be having better measurement systems on that also with that that's that's my last slide thanks a lot